I'm here today at the Monteleone Family Hydro Farm in Eldred, New York, for Season 2, Episode 5 of The Art of Gardening. Our tour guide today is Frank and Phyllis's daughter, Lori Monteleone. I'm Lori. So what exactly is hydroponic gardening? Explain from the beginning for people like me who don't know anything at all about it. Yeah, so it's basically uh, you take all of the uh, the dirt and everything out of the equation and you give the plants exactly like the same nutrients and everything but all just directly in the water, directly with the roots and it saves a lot of the resources and space you need to grow plants outside. So uh -huh. you can do it indoors all year round with a little bit less dirt around. The like right here in the middle of town, it would be hard to put a farm, a classic dirt farm and everything, but in here you can kind of isolate it from all the stuff outside and you, have, and you can be a little more space efficient right here versus having to find a big spot outside. It looks almost like a med scientist laboratory. <laughs> I don't think we're that crazy, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, so like this is the thing that basically, it takes all the plant food and just puts it through the pipes and everything. And oh, so different food. nutrients are in each of these tanks? Yeah, so basically these things are what mix together to make the plant fertilizer, so all these different Bins and stuff, they just have plant food in different ratios and then they mix them. So for all of this whole tray full of greens and stuff takes one one mixture, one food mixture, and then these guys have a different one. And so because these are like vine crops, they're a little bigger. Uh -huh. So they need more water to like make the fruit because there's cucumbers and zucchini and tomatoes and everything. And so they take a little bit more water and slightly different nutrients than like lettuce and kale and parsley. And it takes about the same time to grow as it would take in a regular farm. Or is it quicker? I haven't done a ton of regular farm farming, but so it takes about five weeks to get ahead of lettuce. And so it's just very consistent and easy to measure because you have the same environment. Let's take a walk around and look at some of the different things you're growing. Yeah, so this is our like nursery area. So this is where we start all the seeds and a little like mini greenhouse inside a greenhouse. Okay. <laughs> Maybe take a Looks like a crumb cake in there. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can see each of these little, hopefully I don't break this. There we go. So these are, I don't know exactly what these are, but they're just little saplings and each of these saplings, little seedlings, and then each of these little circles have a cube that go in this tray that I'll show you in a sec. Okay. And then once they get a little bit bigger, we move into this nursery tray where they can start growing upwards a little bit. So, so this is pre-K, this is kindergarten. Yes, this is our kindergarten area <laughs> <laughs> where they start to learn how to be little plants. Um, and then once they get a little bit bigger, we transplant them from there into these channels. So each of those little cubes gets popped in one of these little spots. And their roots, you can kind of see them without disturbing them too much. But that their roots just run in this little tray of water. Uh -huh. that that's terrible lighting, but um, yeah. And so so there's a little bit of dirt in there? It's not dirt, it's basically, uh, they call it, the, this one's using rock wool, like cotton candy rock, kind of. <laughs> that's a yeah. little cube. And so it's, it's very clean and stuff, so as you pick it up, you can see the roots kind of come out that way. And there's water running in these little pipes that just send it through. So it's really shallow. It doesn't use that much water. It's just going all going directly to the roots. So the, the plants are always perfectly happy because they never have to worry about, did it rain soon enough? Did I get enough exactly. sunshine? Yeah, they just have this, this is just a constant flow of water and nutrients through them. And actually all of the water gets recycled. And so it's not, you don't need to like pull fresh from the well all the time. It's like, it's all being recirculated through the channels and just gets chopped up with nutrients and food as it goes through the system and so you really don't need to use that much extra water. So the water goes through, the plants take the nutrients and then you put more nutrients in and yep. send it through again. Huh. So we have a big like plant food tank outside that sort of keeps everything consistent and then it sort of just cycles through it. What else you got? What else you got? So this is, this is arugula. The bees all just started sort of recently so this would be arugula. This is red oak lettuce. This is our lettuce section apparently. Here we have some herbs that we're starting. So we have mint and oregano and thyme. And mint. Okay, we're some kind of interesting. Oh, we've got kohlrabi. These are all our like little baby plants. You can go to some of the bigger ones too. So you can see what they look like in a couple of weeks. So, here, these are like our so say these. How long from this from to that? that? That's about five weeks. Wow, that's pretty quick. Yeah, so it takes five weeks to get um, and so, yeah, so these are cilantro, and so they just kind of keep, they just keep growing. <laughs> um, and then we have our giant basil. It's, Is that a special breed of basil, or just... No, it just seems to be very happy. Wow. In here, so it gets kind of big. Yeah, but I never nice. got that big leaves on my basil. Yeah, so it's kind of nice 
because they um, get a nice batch of pesto out of one plant. Mm. <laughs> Which is instead of those little packets. Of the Getting hungry already. <laughs> and so these are the kohlrabi, so they were the like, teeny tiny little ones over there, and so they have this nice little root leaf, and it's kind of like a turn up kale, which is great for adding the soup. Because kale gets a bad rap, but it's very versatile. <laughs> well, it's healthy. It gets a bad rap for taste to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard. It can be kind of hard to, <laughs> to prepare, but if you, you know, I think it's called massaging the kale. So, like, you chop it up and you, like, rub some olive oil and salt in it. It's really good. Mm. Mm, it's Let's see. What is this? What is this is a big sea of what? Uh, lettuce. This is all butter lettuce right here. So, this is kind of it in its life stages. I think it's called all, butter lettuce? Yeah, butterhead lettuce. Um, so, it's, it's got apparently a lot of names, but... That is what we call it. And Looks good. Each of these like stages is about a week apart, so you can kind of see it growing up. Mm -hmm. Is this a new thing or more of the uh, same thing? These are bok choy. So these bok are, choy? Yeah, they'll, they'll get bigger, but these are baby, baby bok choy. Yeah. <laughs> so in a few weeks, they should be ready, ready to go and just start that. And then, yeah, it's more of a, you might have to go back around this anymore because she's kind of thing. So actually that's interesting too. That's how we get stuff out of the, out of the middle. So each of these little trays, you can pull out like this and then like work on them. Because obviously you can't reach the middle from, from the edge. So each of these things is independent. Uh -huh. It's actually kind of cool how it comes though. It's almost like a giant Ikea box. This, this whole building like. Oh, this is like a kit? Yeah, kind of. It oh, was wow. like this whole thing came in a, in a box. I can't even put together a bookcase, so I don't, can't imagine doing <laughs> like, this. Imagine the world's most difficult IKEA puzzle. And that would be. But it was pretty cool. This is more of the same. So this is that red oak lettuce, but bigger. Um, lettuce it's cool. Like I don't know. When you think lettuce, you think very generic lettuce, and then it's lots of different shades and shapes mm -hmm. of lettuce. These are um, the tomato plants. And yeah, actually, there are already tomatoes on them. Get very consistent and very big, which is kind of nice. And yeah, they actually they're growing up. These are like the support system. So because we're in the greenhouse and they they won't die back in the winter and stuff, so they'll just keep growing up and up. And so as they grow, you can lower these things and just kind of wrap the. So like tomatoes will grow, start near the bottom, and then as it grows, you can keep harvesting them and kind of lower. So will these never die? They should. Live Right. Cucumbers on the other side? So is there anything about your personality that matches this garden? Because lots of times we notice that it's almost like people say their pets get to resemble themselves yeah. after a while. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're we just really like the nerdy aspect. Like we like organizing. We like trying new things and experimenting with like what grows here, like what grows there, what sort of plant food mixture can we use to grow different things. And I think that that really like this kind of garden really lets us do that, where we can. You know, we'd be like, oh, this row, we're going to have, like, try this new type of weird kale that we've never heard of before. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for coming on this tour of our new hydro farm. It was great giving all the information and letting you know how we work here. And if you want more of this information, you can visit our website, which is in the video somewhere.